Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my finale for my 8 by Easter Project Pan collab with Shay from Lipstick Lashes and Wine and Courtney from Courtney K. And I'm so excited to do this finale, honestly, because I'm sick of having these items in my Project Pan drawer. If you guys ch check out my last shop, my stash, you'll you can see all the items in my Project Pan drawer or my like items that I'm always using type of drawer instead of my like everyday shop my stash type of drawer. This just two different drawers in my vanity and I like to separate them like that. Don't mind me. Anyway, so I only have eight items to go through. Some of them I have not touched at all. Other ones I have used a ton. So I really want to go through these with you really quickly here and just make this a super quick update for you to watch on your Easter morning. Happy Easter, everyone, by the way, anybody that celebrates. And if you don't celebrate Easter, then happy Sunday, because it's Sunday. And if you're seeing this video, I am currently at work today on Easter morning, so unfortunately we are going to be celebrating our Easter later on in the day, and I don't get to go to church with my family or breakfast like we always like to do, which is a little sad, but I'm helping out other people at the hospital, so I feel good about helping them out on their Easter morning. So let's get right into this, and yeah, it'll be a quick finale for you guys, and hopefully I will have another Project Pan starting up here pretty soon. Um, I do have other ones. I have my sample Project Pan going on. I still have my Seven Deadly Sins Project Pan going on, and my um, new one that I just started, the 10, Drop 10 by Summer Project Pan going on. That one's going very, very well. So, Let's get right into this, as I've said multiple times now. So the first category was Bunny, and I chose this Wim Nail Lacquer Nail Polish from Wim, duh. And this is in the shade Marshmallow Muse. As you guys can see, I am significantly lower than my line here. Unfortunately, the grams have not went down at all. I'm still at 51 grams on here. But honestly, this has been hurting my nails, making them peel, making them look terrible. I am ready to declutter this. I did buy a white one from Kathleen Lights' collection from KL Polish, and I would like to use that one instead. So I will be decluttering this one at this point. I did like it though, and I got a lot of compliments when I wore a white nail polish. I was wearing it, I just took it off this morning. And as you guys can see, my nails are totally peeling from this. I'll show you these ones too. See how much they're peeling at the tips. They don't normally do that, and the only time they did that was when I was wearing these two nail polishes from these two projects, so I'm ready to declutter that. I have another white one I'm looking forward to, so that one is going to go bye-bye. So the next product category is pastel, and you guys know I've been using up my two Becca... Um, first Light Priming Filters. I did end up purchasing a First Light Priming Filter from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I will, get, I will show you guys my whole haul on that once I am done with that. Obviously, it doesn't end until April 7th or 8th, so I'm not going to be doing a haul on that yet, but this one is almost done. I've gotten... 14 uses out of this one so far and it is still not gone so these are excellent little sample sizes if you guys are able to pick these up these will definitely be able to tell you if you like this product or not because like I said I've gotten 14 uses out of this one so far that I've remembered to mark and then this one I've used quite a few times when I was in Florida and then a couple times when I've gotten back so I would definitely recommend this to you and my last check-in these together I had at 17 grams now now they are at 14 grams, so I've used 3 grams of product. I'm very proud of myself, and I will continue to use these until they are gone before I open up my full size of the First Light Priming Filter. Love this stuff, especially in the wintertime. Super hydrating on the skin. I could not be happier with a primer. It did seem to make my makeup last longer too, which I really appreciated, so definitely recommend these. I love them. Then the next product category I have is Easter Basket, and I use this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint with Hyaluronic Acid in the shade Nude 40, and honestly, I didn't use this at all. I used it three times that I've marked on here, and I'm not going to use it right now. I've been using a lot of other products. I've been really loving this Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade Light Medium. This is what I've been using for my everyday. I'm actually wearing a Too Faced Born This Way sample right now on my face, and I just can't get myself to use this. Also, I think it's a little bit too light for me right now, which 
I mean like a lot too light for me right now because I do have a little bit of a tan. Um, but when my tan fades a little bit, I'll try to use this a little bit more. I want to get this out of my collection here soon. It's been around for a little over a year now and I don't like to keep liquid products for very long. So I'm going to try to use this up and get it out of my collection. I mean it's a good product. I really do like using it when I do use a foundation, a liquid foundation, but it's not my favorite. So I think that's why I'm having a hard time using it because I like it, but it's not really what I want to reach for. And why not use the ones that I really love on an everyday basis instead of just trying to use stuff up just to use it up, you know, doesn't make sense. Anyways, I would recommend this if you're looking for a very affordable foundation, but it's not my favorite. Like I said, I'd rather spend more money on a foundation that I absolutely love or a BB cream that I absolutely love instead of something like this. So there's my two cents on that one. Anyways, this is still at 85 grams, just like it was the last time. Then my next category was chocolate. And as you guys know, I had the Makeup Geek blush and infatuation that I had decluttered on my second update. And I put in this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in brownish black. This one has a natural bristle brush and they are spread apart quite significantly. I did run it through my eyes today after I use my CoverGirl Supersizer Mascara and I really do think this separates the lashes. It really does give you some length and volume. I love this one. The brownish black one is the one I use on my no makeup makeup days. Obviously I have makeup on today but if I'm just going into work or if I'm just going out for like a quick shopping trip and I just want to highlight my eyes a little bit then I will put this one on because it is the brownish black so it's not so harsh on my eyes. I really, really do like it. I only used it a couple times. And when I started with, when I put this one initially in the project, is it was at 26 grams. And to no shock to me, honestly, it's still at 26 grams. I don't think I could use a whole gram of product. Even if I used it every day, I might be able to use a whole gram of mascara product. But Honestly, I'm not I'm not sad about that one and I'll continue using this on my no makeup makeup days. I really really do like this and it's only like 5 bucks at the drugstore. Fantastic product. Then my next product category is Jelly Bean and I have my Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil and I have used this so many times. Do you guys see how much that, like, there's no pan showing, but do you see the rings of the pan? I've completely faded away. Well, there's, I guess, a tiny bit of the sun over there, but I've pretty much completely faded away that sun design in there. And just by marking it, I've marked it um, 11 times on here. I know I've used it way more than that. I wasn't marking it when I was using it in Florida. Unfortunately, I forgot. But I definitely love this bronzer now that my skin is a little bit more tanned. It was too orange toned on me when my skin was paler in the winter. So I would definitely recommend this as a summer bronzer for anybody of my shade or even a little bit lighter, a lighter, little bit darker. Um, otherwise, it is too orangey looking if you are very, very pale skin tone. But... I love this one now. I'm really enjoying using this and I'm going to put it back in my collection just because I enjoy using it, but I do have a different bronzer in my Drop 10 by Summer. It is the Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer and I think I'm going to like that one a little bit more because it is a glowy bronzer, but if I'm looking for a matte bronzer that just kind of deepens up my skin, gives me some dimension, I will be picking up this one. I love this one and I plan on using this up by the end of the year. Hopefully I can get it finished out. Um, as of right now, I don't have any pan in it, but I've really enjoyed Enjoyed using it. The last check-in this weighed in at 71 grams and now it is weighing in at 68 grams. So I use a whole three grams of product which I totally believe it. I've been using this all the time. Pretty much every time I wear makeup I've been just dusting this kind of all over giving my face some dimension and color and I love this. For flower and spring they're both from my Urban Decay Vice Limited Reloaded palette. This was the shade Flower, Gold Mine, sorry. And this is the shade um, Spring, is in the shade Mildew. I really like both of those shades, but to be completely honest, I have been using the shade Suspend right here as a crease color, and I've been using every other shade. <laughs> like a ton. I've been using this palette so much and I've recently been getting into checking my cosmetics and seeing how old they are. Just whenever I'm curious and I'm really just in the mood to check it out, 
I have been looking these up on Check Fresh, and I plan on getting those little stickers because I want to see when they were manufactured by. This palette was manufactured, this specific palette was manufactured in December of 2018. 15 and I think I got this early 2016 so that makes me feel good that I got a fresher palette and Honestly, I have been loving using this so I plan on keeping using this keeping in my collection and just enjoying it for what it is And it's very colorful and fun and I really feel like I've gotten a lot of use out of almost every single one of these colors in here So I'm gonna keep using this and keep enjoying this I'm glad to have this back in my collection and hopefully I can use it before I don't know like five years is up We'll see, but I'm going to start marking all of my things that I've been checking on Check Fresh just to kind of see how much I can use up in the allotted time that it's supposed to give you. Even though this does say 24 months usage, you know that powder products last a lot longer. So I'm just going to keep using this and keep enjoying it. And the final product I have is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in this shade Cami. I have used this not very many times, to be totally honest. I thought I would have this completely used up by the end of this product project but I have been doing my lipstick roulette so that has kind of taken a toll on me using this product I've only used it once or twice between the last check-in and this check-in so not good I do love this color I enjoy using this all the time um, this is the matte X formula and I will keep using this honestly this is just gonna go right back in my collection I really enjoy this product and I'm not going to be decluttering it or anything like this or anything like that I really really do enjoy this and like I said I'm just gonna keep it in my collection I would recommend this color to you guys if you have any skin tone I have seen this shade in the matte X formula sorry my dog just totally like plopped down next to the camera tripod and yeah, she knocked it. Anyways, I would recommend this for you if you are any skin tone. I've seen this on every single skin tone I could possibly think of. I looked it up on so many different sites trying to look for it to look bad on a certain skin tone and I don't think this looks bad on any skin tone that I have found at all. So if you are any skin tone and you're looking for a darker mauve nude color, I would definitely recommend this to you. And it's only five bucks. I mean, how can you go wrong? Plus, ColourPop has sales all the time so just wait for one of their sales and pick pick this up if you're looking into it and it will be so beautiful on you i am sure of it so those are my eight products that i put in this project and i'm sure that courtney and shay did so much better than me so if you are following them give them a thumbs up on their channels make sure you give me a thumbs up on mine to see keep seeing project pans from me and i hope you guys enjoyed this update and finale for this project so hopefully you won't be seeing these items anytime soon except for maybe reviews or something like that but i like to switch up my makeup all the time which is why it's hard for me to hit pan especially on like eyeshadows and stuff i just i get in the mood for certain items and certain project products and certain colors and certain finishes and I like to mix my stuff up so I really don't have pan and a lot of different powder products powder products because I like to mix it up so much so I am really happy that I got a lot of usage out of some of those items in this project and I would love to do this again next year I thought the categories and stuff and thinking of the reasons why I chose items especially like the ticket to Brazil bronzer I just love stuff like that it makes me so happy so I hope you enjoyed this finale and if you have any project pan ideas let me know down in the links below or if you're a youtuber that does project pans let me know if you have any ideas of something coming up so we <laughs> of something coming up and I will definitely check it out but in the meantime I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are happy Easter and happy Sunday to all of you and I will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>